Welcome to Cooper's Connection Time, April 15th. Hi, everyone. Good morning, everybody. It's a wonderful day. We're going to make it awesome. That's I first right. want to welcome, do you know, Ms. Pridham, we have a number of substitute teachers in our school today taking care of classes when teachers can't be here. They are our heroes. They do such a good job coming in when they need them. I just want to give a special welcome to them. Also to later, we're going to be saying goodbye to them too, or recognizing them, but our student teachers are almost done. So another group of people who we love and are so happy they were here and we say hello to all of you. So we're pretty close to O Canada. So when we hear it over top, uh, come over the intercom, please stand up. And as Ms. Prudham said here, if you want to unmute and sing, with, as long as you have masks on, you can do that. Here we go. Nice job, everybody. Thank you. Guess what? Today, we're going to review our character traits at the end of our assembly time, of our connection time, in a Kahoot. So be sure that you have your teacher getting the iPad or the other device ready so you can do that. And But first, before we do that, we have some learning to come, some learning to do together. Ms. Prudham, go ahead. April's character trait is purpose. How many of you remembered that? We introduced it before the break. How many of you? That is awesome. Some of you, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Hennig. And maybe this is something you're talking about in class as well with in different ways. And so here we go. Let's learn a little bit more about it. Hmm. So if you remember, purpose is that commitment to make a meaningful contribution to the world. The world. Those are big words. It means the same thing as our school motto, caring to make a difference. If we really work to make a positive difference in the world, to make the world a better place, that's our purpose. And we're using our purpose and it's really a strength of heart. So think about in what ways do you have a sense of purpose in your life? Hmm, there might be some ideas on our next slides. Mm. Well, when you're living life with purpose, you're discovering your own strengths. That's kind of cool because I like finding out the things that I can do. And sometimes I'm even surprised when I didn't think I could do it. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh my goodness, I guess I can. <laughs> and sometimes discovering our own strengths is also about practicing something. So it becomes a strength because we don't start strong, just like exercise. If you start lifting weights, you can't lift very much at the beginning, but if you keep exercising, you can lift more and more and you become strong and that's your strength. So by practicing it, we build our, our, our strengths. Mm, realizing areas for growth and improvement. We are always growing and changing as people. Even you, Mr. Henning, even me, adults and kids, we're always changing and growing and we are improving. And so when we're realizing, hmm, I need to do better in this area. Hmm, I need to work harder at this. Sometimes we have to be more, try to be more patient or more kind or you know, sometimes we need to just try new things or sometimes change is difficult and we need to try to be open to change, even though it's hard. So there's a lot of ways that we are always learning and growing. And a lot of times it's because we're improving. 
improving and and you that's so right and and another part is all of these character traits that we are learning about like kindness and innovation and zest and grit and good choices um all of those as we put those into action that's living out our purpose which is mm -hmm. kind of cool and sometimes it takes practice to do that too for example right now in my life I have to be practicing on, on patience. There's some things that are kind of, yeah, I'm having to wait for that I wish I didn't have to wait for. But that's part of putting my character into action is being patient and waiting for things to happen and to still um, remember that it's all okay. That's part of that optimism character trait that we might talk about another month. And finding out what your gifts are because a gift that you have, and you have many gifts, we each have many, many gifts, you have gifts that are for you and for others and for the world. And so when we are working on our strengths and we are figuring out how to improve and we are developing awesome character traits, we are developing our gifts and realizing what our true gifts really are. So we're gonna be excited to see what kinds of gifts people have uh, this month. So here we go. Awesome. So next, Mr. Hennig. Oh. oh. One of the places that we live out our character is like at recess. And so sometimes that's even when we're interacting and things maybe don't go right and we have to solve problems. And that's an awesome opportunity. I love it when we get to solve problems together. But also we recognize that with a big part of how we play in winter is with the snow. Because it's so fun playing with snow and in snow. But have you noticed? There's no snow left. <laughs> so here's some ideas that you might try at the recess, if you're finding, hmm, what do I do now? Ms. Prudhoe, would you want to start with one? Yeah. So making up a cool new game, of course, a kind and safe game. So when you're outside and you're like, I don't know what to do, right? Because maybe it's, you know, on the hill or the soccer field and you don't have maybe a soccer ball or, so or a hula hoop, make up a new cool game. You know what? What about hill soccer if you're on the hill? If you have a ball, of course. Don't let it roll down the hill. You could create two teams or four teams. You could have everyone on the same team and they're trying to help that ball not roll down the hill. That's awesome. Or you can just be, be looking around and looking up and noticing the great things around us, like the trees and the sky. And you can even create a pro poem or a story about what you're seeing outside. One thing I love on, ooh, I'm looking out the window. I don't see any in the sky right now, but clouds are awesome because sometimes I see shapes of clouds and it reminds me of things like pirate ships or, or animals or different things. And that can be an inspiration for stories or poems or just conversations. And speaking of conversations, you could sit in a circle and talk to one another. <gasps> you could talk about life, you could talk about school, having purpose, favorite things like your favorite food and sports and music and hobbies. You could just hang out and chat with your friends and people around you. And, and maybe you're inviting people that normally you don't hang out with to join you. I love that part just because with all of these, we can always keep our eyes open for people who maybe aren't playing with somebody who might be want to be included and just always be inviting other people to be part of your group. That's part of having strong character too. You could perform, you could make up a song or a dance or a cheer or something and practice it and practice and practice it. And maybe even you could talk to Mrs. McKinnon and that could be part of our talent, talent showcase at one of these connection times. You could do exercise. So you could do some yoga and stretching or stomach crunches, um, like sit-ups, or you could just run. You could even run in the spot. There's so many, so many things you could do. You could do low intensity exercise or high intensity exercise, jumping jacks, planks. You could even take turns being the fitness instructor Ooh, and like leading that. your friends in fitness classes. <laughs> or you could have a game of charades where you have to pick something that you're trying to act out and have people guess what's in your head. That's awesome. And of course, one of my favorite games is I Spy. And you could just take turns. I Spy with my little eye, something that is blue. And maybe, it, well, obviously I'm thinking of the sky. <laughs> so we hope or, that- Or my shirt. Good. <laughs> oh, yes. We hope that there are some ideas there for you and teachers, please um, help students with some of these ideas and just continue this conversation. Students, if you try something new outside, let your teacher know too. We'd like to celebrate these new ways we can be outside. And so let us know as well. Even if you want to come up with a little idea, you might even be able to introduce it to the whole school on connection time. Let Ooh. us know. 
Next Thursday is Earth Day. Look at that beautiful picture of our beautiful Earth. That's something else that's blue. Look at that. Wow, so how will your class celebrate Earth Day? Here are some ideas. So classes next Thursday, you can choose what you'd like to do and, and really it doesn't have to be on this list, but these are just some ideas. Here we go. Pick, you can pick up, up garbage. Yeah, picking up garbage. Maybe dressing up in earth colors. Hmm. You could that? make a goal to spend, um, use less energy in a day, like less have the lights on less, uh, less technology, use less water, just be really conscious about taking care of our resources. Hmm. Reuse something. Maybe your class wants to do something with art and make something out of something that's, you know, something that needs to be reused. Maybe it's from the recycle bin, or maybe it's something from home that you bring, or that's something you could do at home too, is you could have a fun, cool project making something out of something else that needs to be reused. You could write a poem or send a letter to the earth. You could just <laughs> Just something to appreciate it and remind yourself and others about how important this is. And or, you know, creating an inspiring story about the earth. That would be interesting, too. You know, if the earth could speak, what would the story be? Ooh, Ooh that's interesting. <laughs> the story could be from the perspective of the earth. <laughs> that's awesome. Or I the wonder... animals, Mr. Hennig. I was just thinking, or the plants. Exactly. <laughs> that's awesome. One of the ideas or one of the concepts is that we're all caretakers. We're here to take care of the things around us. So, so you can think about how can I be a good caretaker? It's oh, it's time to, to celebrate. <laughs> all right, so for our house teams, oh, this is coming in a little slow. <laughs> so of course, welcome back from spring break and click the next button, Mr. Hennig, just to move it. There we go, and again, we're going to be showing the total points next week. Okay. Oh. All right, here we go. There we go. But do you know what? We have something new. And if you haven't wandered down past the kindergarten area, you maybe haven't seen it yet. But over Easter break, one of our amazing parents, Mrs. Khan, that's Slater and Cheney's mom, she spent three days painting this beautiful tree. And some, some important people from Rocky View Schools came and hung up our new picture frames. So this is a new feature wall that will celebrate you celebrate our school celebrate our learning and our art and all the things we're doing so as we find pictures we'll be filling these frames and it's going to be a celebration wall of awesomeness i want to show you a quick video about uh, how it was built <laughs> Do you know what I love, Ms. Prudhomme? I love that Mrs. Khan put her character into action. She volunteered her time. She cared to make a difference. She used creativity. She used grit. She used so much to, to really bless our school. And so uh, we're so appreciative of her. And this is such a beautiful addition to our school. And it, it says here, Mr. Hennig, I don't know if you noticed, we are giving every house team 500 points just to celebrate this wall. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, what else do we have to celebrate? Oh, I'm just, oh, there we go. We're celebrating our teachers in grade one. All right, so who's who in grade one? Mrs. Berndred, she loves to read and loves drinking Starbucks. <laughs> oh, and I didn't know this. Mrs. Leeflor loves, loves swimming. She has been a lifeguard, a swim instructor, an aqua fit instructor, and completed competed be becoming a swim coach she wishes she could be a mermaid <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome we all have our hopes and dreams mrs mckay loves teaching and miss campbell enjoys 
Oh boy, I've got my screen covering these words. She enjoys yoga, reading, napping, traveling, and snuggling with Watson. She also used to be a clown named Jitters because she got so nervous. She would clown at children's hospitals, old folks' homes, and in Canada Day parades. That's awesome. Wow, that is so cool. And let's let's just see what's next here, Mr. Hennig. Yeah, now we see what teams they're on as well. There we That's go. Awesome. The 4L class worked really hard visually representing and celebrating their learning about the Canadian fur trade. So well done. Keep pressing, Mr. Hennig. Wow, innovation and zest for them, for the curious chameleons. They got That's awesome. Wow. All right. Ms. Here Mr. were our student teachers. And press the, next, press the next, yeah. Oh, oh look oh, at that's this. That's awesome. You know what? There has been kindness for all of these new people in our building. Thank you, students. So and, those points were awarded to those classes. And we wish you all the best student teachers as you continue learning how to be a teacher and as you continue your professional career. It was a great to have you here. Announcement time. Here we go. We are on location here in the gym. I've got Julia, she's gonna do birthdays. Happy birthday to Chloe and 3K, Sarah and 3RD, Caleb and 2F, Parker and 4L, Wyatt and Pip, Mrs. Tadasika, McKenna and 2M, Olivia and 12C, Clayton and 12C, Carter and 12C, Haley and 4B, Shaylee and 3RY, Kyler and KTAM, and Madeline and 4L. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you all. <laughs> wow. Please set out your recycling for pickup today. And I'll do our purpose quote. The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. That's by Pablo Picasso. And now it's time for the talent show. So up first, we've got Julia. She's going to do a Highland dance um, for us. It's a fling. And Julia, I'm gonna get you to move over. Oh, I'm the camera person. I, I am the- Stop sharing. Yes, start okay. stop sharing, that's great. Okay, I'm the camera person. I'm gonna to try to make sure she's full screen here. Okay, and I'm on music too. Connected to three Nimitkin and Zyphon. Connected to three Nimitkin and Zyphon. Three Nimitkin and Zyphon. Just connected. Ready to pair. Connected to three Nimitkin and Zyphon. Thank you, Julia. That was awesome, Julia. Okay, and then we have Quinn. She's going to do some acrobatics for us. She's been warming up. Okay, again, I wanna make sure I get the best view here. Okay, Quinn, whenever you're ready. Wow. That was great. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's give her a clap, everyone. Yay. That's awesome. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you to Julia and Quinn. That was amazing. Thank you so much, uh, students, with all of your different talents. And thank you, um, you know, Mrs. McKinnon, for your help with helping everyone. Uh, we're going to end with a quick hoot. So here we go. We've just got a few minutes left. And so let's try 
this Wait. out. Here we go. Students can go back to their classes or, you know, wherever you are. Oh. Hmm. Sorry about your mom. I just see. It's okay. Maybe the Bluetooth stopped. Oh, maybe my mom will give you. Uh, another technical issue, it looks like. <laughs> it's a theme for the day. <laughs> Let me just see here. Hmm. It's awesome. The first two. Oh, wait, no, she would have given you a whole thing. So. It says video unavailable, like like usually there's sound right now, you guys. And I, so there might be a glitch with this. And then you know what? We will just move it to another week, like next week. <laughs> I wonder when we, hit start, when we hit start, I wonder what will happen. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to try this. Here we go. Looks like, oh, there we go. Good, good. Okay, good. A few more. So it might not work. Everybody ready for that? Everyone's okay with that because we're gonna try it another day. Here we go. Flexible. We're, we're flexible. flexible. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, good. All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> all right, let's see if this works. The appreciation for all that we have and the desire to take time to give thanks. Is that gratitude, growth mindset, purpose, or grit? Hmm. Oh, we got 16 oh, to 17 answers. It's gratitude. Good job. Yay. Oh, 4L, 2F, 3K, 1L. Okay. Here amazing. Perseverance during challenges and long term goals will bring success. Hmm. Is that optimism, purpose, grit, social emotional intelligence? These are hard. These are hard ones. Perseverance during challenges. And long-term goals will bring success. Yes, it's grit. Grit. It's grit. Good job, everybody. You know it, is, it is also being optimistic. So, you know, some, sometimes these answers are tricky. Oh, two M is in the lead. Woohoo! Followed by 1L and 3K and 1M munchkins. True or false, self-control and grit are strengths of will. Hmm, so that's your brain. Is that true? We have to really think about self-control and grit. Oh, yes, it's true. Here we go, let's see. Oh, wow, we got some new people coming up. Here's another one. Controlling one's own responses to show patience, manners, and determination. Controlling one's own responses. So is it self-control, zest, I think the, that's, a, that's a typing mistake, <laughs> curiosity, or social emotional intelligence. Hmm. When I think of controlling my own responses, <gasps> 100% correct. Yes, That's it's so awesome. Cool. Let's see if that changed anything. Oh, ki kindergarten is coming up here. Wow. And Mrs. Leaflor's class is on fire too with how fast they're doing. Understanding your own and other people's feelings and showing care if they need support. Hmm. Is that social emotional intelligence, purpose, zest, or optimism? Understanding your own feelings and other people's feelings. Hmm. Yes, it's social emotional intelligence. It's also zest and good choices. You're right. And it, it does give you purpose. So those people who had that, but the best answer was that social emotional yeah. intelligence, knowing your feelings and other people's feelings and showing support when needed. <gasps> Mrs. Leaflor's class, whoa, KB and KT, five I. Oh, here we go. And Mrs. Cronin Bolton's up there too. Gratitude and kindness are strengths of heart. Is that true or false? It's the strength of your heart. Gratitude and kindness is I, heart feeling. Yes! Ooh, yes, one, I think so. 100%. Wow, you guys, some of these are like tricky, right? They're reviewing oh, double points. Also called an awesome act, an approach to learning and life that is filled with excitement and energy. Excitement and energy, is it zest? Is it optimism? Is it grit? Is it growth mindset? It's one of our points. It's the awesome, it's one of our awesome acts that we can get points for for our house teams. That's that clue as well. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yes, that's right. It's zest. Yeah, great. 100% almost there. That is awesome. Whoa, look at these people. Oh, Mr. Baker's now on the board. Here we go. Only two questions left. Thank you for everyone's patience. 
Okay, helps you to think and plan ahead to achieve your goals and dreams. So if you're thinking and planning ahead. Oh yeah. Um, is it being curious? Is it being proactive? Is it being grateful? Hmm, helping you to think and plan ahead to achieve your goals and dreams. Yes, 100% being proactive, that is right. All right, and wow, look at that leaderboard, amazing. And one more, which awesome act requires self-control? Is it good choices? Is it zest? Is it innovation? Or is it all of them? Interesting. Miss mm. Prudem, I'm recognizing as we did this, we've learned a lot about character this year. A lot. A lot about character. <gasps> yes. Oh, it is all of them. Everybody. It is all of them. That is awesome. All right. Well, you know what? You all do amazing. It, oh, we've got in third place five. I, wow. We've got kindergarten in second place, KT. Oh, and in the first place, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, one L. Everybody, you're amazing. Runners up are KB and 1B. Wow. So thank you so much. Give yourself a pat on the back. And thank you for letting us continue this two minutes past. Uh, it's time to go. You guys have to go to Excellent. class and have lots to do. Thank you so have a much. Have everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.